Hello everybody and welcome to the E.T. Considers Everything podcast for Friday, July 8, 2016. On this edition, I'll be taking a look at several of the sports issues that took place on yesterday. So let's take a look at these issues. First, let's start off with the NFL. I mentioned yesterday that the top 10 players of the top 100 players of 2016 were named on NFL Network Wednesday night. And Cam Newton was voted number one by the players. Cam Newton, of course, is the quarterback of the NFC champion Carolina Panthers. And he was the NFL MVP last season. Number two on the list was quarterback Tom Brady of the New England Patriots, a former four-time Super Bowl champion and multiple-time MVP. Aaron Rodgers was also on that list at number six. He is also a former Super Bowl champion and a former MVP. So three quarterbacks were on the list. We had several receivers on the list as well, including Odell Beckham Jr., Julio Jones, and Antonio Brown. Adrian Peterson, Luke Keekley, and J.J. Watt were also on the list. So many of the greats of the NFL were on that list for the top 100 players of 2016. So it was fun to see how the countdown went. Also, in MLB yesterday, we had several big-time news happenings. We had the Atlanta Braves and Chicago Cubs had a dueling uh, slugfest yesterday. The Atlanta Braves held on to defeat the Chicago Cubs last night, and they won that game. That was a big upset for the Atlanta Braves, and they defeated the Chicago Cubs in 11 innings. In NBA free agency news, we had Dwayne Wade move on from Miami Heat after 13 years in the city to go to the Chicago Bulls on a two-year contract worth $47 million. Also, we had Kevin Durant move on from Oklahoma City after nine seasons to the Golden State Warriors, signing a two-year contract out there for $54 million. He had his introductory press conference yesterday, and in that introductory press conference, he talked about how it was a very tough decision to move on from Oklahoma City to the Golden State Warriors. But I believe in the end, he made the right decision for himself because he wants to try and win an NBA championship and he has a greater probability to win an NBA championship with a, with a roster with Seth Curry, Clay Thompson, and all those guys out there. So it's going to be very fun to see what happens this NBA season with all the NBA free agency news that has took place throughout the last couple of weeks. Soccer news from yesterday. Host nation France defeated Germany 2 to nothing in the European Championship semifinal. They advanced to the final on Sunday in Paris where they will take on Portugal. France and Portugal will meet in the European Championships final on Sunday afternoon. Coverage of that will begin on on Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern with the match at 3 on ESPN. A great atmosphere in Paris should be there, no doubt about it, because the French friends always bring out their best, and they did yesterday in their match in Marseille against Germany. The Wimbledon Tennis Championships are continuing this morning and currently on center court. Number three seed Roger Federer is taking on number six seed Milos Raonic in the semifinals. That match is tied at one set apiece. Milos Raonic won the first set 6-3 and Roger Federer won the second set 7-6 in a tie break. So that match is a best of three now. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Roger Federer is looking for his 8th career Wimbledon championship and 18th career major title overall. Also, Andy Murray will be in action later on on center court. He's a former Wimbledon champion. He will take on Thomas Burditch in the semifinals, second semifinal after the conclusion of the Roger Federer and Milos Raonic match. Tomorrow morning in the Wimbledon ladies final, It will be number one seed Serena Williams taking on number four seed Angelique Kerber. Serena Williams is looking for her 22nd career major championship, and Angelique Kerber is looking for her second career major championship. Angelique Kerber defeated Serena Williams in three sets to win the 2016 Australian Open. We'll see what happens in that match. Very fun to see how that plays out, and it's going to be interesting to see if 
Serena Williams can tie Steffi Groff on the all-time majors win list at 22. The NASCAR Xfinity Series races tonight from Kentucky. Several of the favorites include Darrell Wallace Jr., Daniel Suarez, Eric Jones, Kyle Busch is in the field, and we'll have several other Sprint Cup drivers in the field as well, including Austin Dillon. So it's going to be very fun to see who comes out on top in that race tonight. The NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race from Kentucky is tomorrow night. Coverage of that will be at on 7 o'clock on NBCSN. So it's going to be very fun to see how who plays who and who goes out on top in that. And that's going to do it for this edition of the ET Considers Everything podcast for Friday, July 8th, 2016. If y'all don't mind, like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like this video. And thanks for all your continued support. For now, this is ET Eric Tyler Mullins reporting from Pound, Virginia. Hope you have a great day, everybody. Thank you very much for watching the video, and thank you very much for all the support.